increase significantly due to the funding for lending scheme. That's according to the Bank of England. According to Nationwide, the price of the average home uh, in the UK stood at £162,000 in December, down 1% on the year before, down 12% there or thereabouts on the peak that we saw back in October 2007. Much, of course, depends where you live. Property values in Cambridge, according once again to the Nationwide, saw the biggest rises in 2012. The biggest falls were experienced in Bradford and in Manchester. Joining me now, the economist and wealth manager, Jonathan Davis, a man who has been predicting a huge downturn in the market, Jonathan, and this is fair to say, for some time. Now, it's no question you're right to a degree. House prices have clearly fallen since the financial crisis began back in 2007. Not, though, I think it's also fair to say, on the scale that you were predicting. Why do you think that has been? For two reasons. Um, one, uh, the then government bailed out the banks in 2009 and borrowed from our children to do so. And secondly, I think the most important thing that they did along with the Bank of England, was slash the interest rate from 5% to 0.5%. Now, what that did, of course, both of them together, made a massive boost to the southeast property market. You bail at the banks, you bail at the southeast. However, there's two points worth making. Firstly, if you live in Northern Ireland, this is a national broadcaster after all, you live in Northern Ireland, you'll have seen house prices fall 53%, 5-3%. If you live in Scotland, Wales, the north, you'll have seen house prices fall 20 to 30 percent. So it's actually only the southeast, the, the banking belt, which has held up. The second point I want to make is the next time there's a visible recession, as opposed to one which is invisible right now, the next time there's a visible recession, there's one thing they can never do, slash interest rates. Just to pick you up on that, in what way is the recession invisible? Um, we've had no growth in this country for six years. 80% um, in our analysis of the planet is in recession. Uh, that's China, Australasia, uh, EU, of course, uh, US, although the uh, official statistics in the US say it's 2.5% growth, I think you'll find that next year they will say that this year they were actually in recession. They do it year in, in arrears. The UK, as I say, has not had any growth. OK. 80% of the planet is in recession. Well, let's talk about then the prospects and this, specifically the housing market in the UK. Are you feeling any more optimistic than you were, say, I think it was in January last year when we spoke last? Not in the slightest. Um, as I say, um, we, we are boost, we, we're, we're pumping £100 billion a year um, into the economy through quantitative easing. We've got the lowest interest rates in history and possibly the lowest interest rates ever. Aggregate income is falling. Uh, although employment is not falling, underemployment is rising dramatically. In, that, in, that case, in other words, lots of people who were on full-time are now on part-time or self-employed from their bedroom. No, the economy is dire, the amount of debt is dire, and house prices are still going to collapse so if a client, in the southeast. If a client comes to you and says, should I buy a house, what would you say to them? If it's for investment, no, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Um, if it's for their own home, um, if it's in uh, Northern Ireland, it's probably not a bad idea financially because prices have gone down 53%. If it's in the South East, I think they'd be financially mad if they were going to take on a big debt in order to do so. Um, I can tell you that uh, rents, even in the South East, are in many areas, apart from central London, not as high as they were in 2007. And as house prices will fall, so will rents. Uh, and in a single word or a single letter, uh, a single number, uh, how big do you think the fall will be this year, your forecast? In 2013, uh, 5 to 10%. OK. Uh, Jonathan Davis, we'll hold you to that. Thank you very much for coming on and sharing your thoughts with us on that. Now, Waitrose says demand for party food and champagne has helped the growth